Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, Christ his, his sufferings, sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive a pledge of a glory which, which is to be yours. He gave him bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of a child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. We are very glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, His only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, 
we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is trapped incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we celebrate the memorial of Saint Francis de Sales, Bishop and Doctor. Saint Francis was born in Savoy in 1567. After being ordained a priest, he labored diligently for the restoration of Catholicism in his country. Chosen Bishop of Geneva, he showed himself a true pastor toward his clerics and the faithful, strengthening their faith by writings, works, and example. He died at Lyons, December 28, 1622, and was buried at Anne on this day. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with a celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let, let us, us worship Christ, Christ chief shepherd, shepherd of the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, Come let, let us, us worship Christ, Christ chief shepherd, shepherd of the flock. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Christ chief shepherd of the flock. Go within its gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ chief shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Please be seated. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, God of hosts, my soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and a swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it as place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with evening growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. 
look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord and God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their own swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his our majesty and state and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, ye families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. Let the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the salvation of souls willed that the Bishop St. Francis de Sales become all things to all, graciously grant that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. All the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, Here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, when Saul was our king, it was he who led the children of Israel out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, You shall shepherd my people Israel, and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was thirty years old when he became king, and he reigned for forty years. 
seven years and six months in Hebron over Judah, and thirty-three years in Jerusalem over all Israel and Judah. Then the king and his men set out for Jerusalem against the Jebusites who inhabited the region. David was told, You cannot enter here. The blind and the lame will drive you away. Which was their way of saying, David cannot enter here. But David did take the stronghold of Zion, which is the city of David. David grew steadily more powerful, for the Lord of hosts was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown, over the people I have set a youth. My faithfulness and mercy shall be with him. I have found David my servant, with my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. My faithfulness and mercy shall be with him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand upon the sea, his right hand upon the rivers. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. Please stand. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan is, has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang mga mga kung di man nakakagulat, 
Ang sinabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa Salaysay, sa Ibanghelyo para sa araw na ito, ayon kay San Marcos. Meron palang kaisa-isang kasalanang hindi mapapatawad. Akala natin lahat ng kasalanan ay pinatatawad. Subalit dito, sinabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, may isang kasalanang hindi mapapatawad. At ano yan? Yung kasalanang laban sa Espiritu Santo. Yan ba'y hindi napapatawad sapagkat inayawan ng patawarin ng Diyos ang mga taong nagkasala laban sa Espiritu Santo? Hindi. Kaya hindi mapatawad ang kasalanang ito laban sa Espiritu Santo ay sapagkat yun mismong nagkasala ay hindi inaaming kasalanan nito. Hindi humihingi ng tawad. Pinaninindigan na yung kanyang pagkakasala ay hindi pagkakasala sapagkat hindi naman ito laban sa Espiritu Santo. Katunayan, tinatakwil niya ang Espiritu Santo sapagkat pinareho na lang niya ang Espiritu Santo sa masasamang Espiritu. Ang Espiritu Santo ay Espiritu ng pag-ibig, Espiritu ng pagkakaisa, Espiritu ng buhay. Magkakasama yan. Kapag ka ikaw umiibig, nagkakaisa. Kapag ka nagkakaisa, nabubuhay tayo. Kaya nga yung pag-ibig at buhay, nagkakaisa. Pag gusto mong umibig sa isang tao, iibigin mo ring mabuhay siya at huwag mamatay. At kapag ka galit na galit ka at inis na inis ka at muhi-muhi ka sa isang tao, ano sinasabi mo kahit palihim, mamatay ka na sana. Ang Espiritu Santo ay Espiritu ng pag-ibig, Espiritu ng pagkakaisa, at Espiritu ng buhay. Subalit yung mga taong nanindigan, ng Espiritu Santo ay kapareho lang ng masasamang Espiritu. At yan ay nangyari dito, no? sa Salaysay, sa Ebanghelyo ni San Marcos. Sinabi nila, itong Jesus na ito, ang kapangyarihan niya ay galing sa masamang Espiritu. Samantalang nakikita nilang ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay gumagawa ng mga milagro dahil sa kapangyarihan ng Espiritu Santo. Pag-ibig, pagkakaisa at buhay. Subalit pinareho nila ang Espiritu Santo sa masamang Espiritu. At ang masasamang Espiritu, anong layunin niyan? Ang layunin ng masasamang Espiritu ay magkawatak-watak ang mga tao, ang pamilya, ang lipunan, ang bayan, mamatay, hindi mabuhay, mamuhi sa isa't isa at hindi pag-ibig. E biro mo yun, sasabihin mo yung Espiritu Santo, kamukha lang o katulad lang o pareho lang, ng masasamang Espiritu, eh talagang binabastos mo ang Diyos. Inuuya mo ang Diyos. Ang tawag dyan, blasphemy of the maximum degree. Sa makatwid, sinira mo ang katayuan ng Espiritu Santo. Kung ang Espiritu Santo ay kamukha lang na masasamang Espiritu, ano pa dapat mong ihingi ng tawad? Walang katwirang humingi ka ng tawad sa isang masamang espiritu na ang espiritu ay pagkamuhi at paghihiganti. Wala sa bukabularyo ng masamang espiritu yung paghingi ng tawad. Wala sa bukabularyo ng masasamang espiritu ang awa. Wala sa bukabularyo ng mga masamang espiritu ang pag-ibig at pagkakaisa. Kundi kamatayan at pagkawasak. Makapangyarihan sila, sumalit yung kapangyarihan niya, ginagamit nila. Sa masamang paraan, pagkawasak, pagkawatak-watak, pagkamuhi, pagkamatay. Iyan ang binubunga kapag ka naghahari ang kapangyarihan ng masasamang Espiritu. E pinareho lang nila yung Espiritu Santo sa si Espiritu. E sabi ng ating Panginoon, paano kayo mapapatawad? 
Para kayo yung mga taong pumasok sa isang kwarto, pinatay ang ilaw, at pagkatapos kayo, nagtataka kayo, bakit madilim? Sapagkat yung kaisa-isa niyong pag-asa, tinanggal niyo sa puso niyo, pinanindigan niyo yan. Bakit? Sapagkat ang pinuon niyo at sinamban niyo, yung masamang espiritu. At sinundan niyo ang patakaran ng espiritu niyan sapagkat gusto niyong makamit ang kanyang kapangyarihan. At marahil nangyayari na yan ngayon. Maraming mga tao baka hindi naniniwala sa mga demonyo, mga masasamang espiritu. Maaring hindi sila. Subalit nakikita nyo binubunga sa ating lipunan ngayon kung ano yan. Sistematikong kasinungalingan, pagpatay ng katotohanan na nagdudulot ng pagkawatak-watak ng mga pamilya, ng lipunan, ng bayan. Hindi pagkakaisa, pagkamuhi sa isa't isa, karahasan, patayan dito, patayan dyan. At hindi pa isa-isa, sistematiko na ginagawa at may programa. Yan ay hindi lamang nagagawa ng iisang tao. Nagagawa yan sapagkat merong lumulukob, hindi lamang ng mga tao, kundi lumulukob na masasamang espiritu. Maniwala mang kayo at sa hindi. Sinabi ni San Pablo sa kanyang liyam sa mga taga-epeso, ang labanan ay hindi lamang laban sa laman at dugo. Ang labanan ay laban sa mga prinsipalidades at masasamang espiritu. Kung hindi kayo naniniwala, mas mainam para sa kanila sapagkat madali tayong tuksuhin sapagkat hindi naman tayo naniniwala. Subalit ang kadiliman ay lumalaganap at lumulukob sa atin at maraming nagiging kampon at ang pinupuon ay ang kapangyarihang nagwawasak, nagdudulot ng pagkamuhi, nagdudulot ng kamatayan sa bawat isa, sa pamilya, sa bayan at sa ating bansa. Anong panlaban natin dito? Panalangin, lalo na yung sama-samang panalangin. Sapagkat ang masasamang espiritu, ang mga demonyo, makapangyarihan man yan, lahat nagagawa niyan. Kaya nga sila'y pinupuo ng mga tao, nalilin lang sila sapagkat parang mga Diyos, nakakagawa rin ng mga milagro, marurunong. Abisado ang Biblia magmula sa pahina, sa unang pahina hanggang sa huling pahina. Lahat ng mga siyensya alam niyan. Lahat na gagawa niyan maliban sa isa, ang magdasal. Yan ang ating kalasag at sandata sa mga masasamang espiritu na bubulong-bulong sa atin upang sa gano'y sumama tayo sa kanila nang mata mo natin ang kanilang kapangyarihan. Nakakatukso. Sapagkat yung kapangyarihan yan ay magbibigay sa atin ng yaman. Magigigbigay sa atin ng katanyagan. Lahat ng gustuhin natin, magagawa natin. Kung sino uturo, ituro natin, pwede natin ipapatay. Kung sino gusto nating usigin, mauusig at makukulong, magiging makapangyarihan tayo. At maaari niya ni Tukso para sa atin upang sa ganun, eh sa halip na yung Espiritu Santo na bumubulong sa atin sa daan ng pag-ibig, eh hindi natin pakinggan. E eh, ang daan ng pag-ibig ng pagkakaisa at buhay e eh, medyo mahirap. Yan ang tweet na landas. Sabi nga na ating Panginoon, makipot. Tweet na landas at maaring para sa ate, napakahirap taluntunin. Mas madali. 
Katulad ng panunokso ng demonyo sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kung naaalala pa ninyo, pati Panginoong Heso Kristo, tinukso ng demonyo, pinakita sa kanya lahat ang kayamanan at kapangyarihan niya. At sinabi sa ating Panginoon, kung ikaw'y sasamba sa akin, ibibigay ko sa iyo lahat ang mga ito. Baka tayo marahuyo din sa ganong mga tukso. May Espiritu Santo. At yun ang dapat nating dinggin. Magdasal tayo sa Kanya nang sa ganon, hindi tayo sumuko kahit na maraming sagabal sa tuwid na landas at sa makipot na landas na sinabi ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Sapagkat pag tayo sumuko at ginawa natin Katulad nitong mga taong sinasalaysay ni San Marcos na pinareho ang Espiritu Santo sa masamang Espiritu para tayo mga taong tanga na pumasok sa kwarto, pinatay ang ilaw at pagkatapos nagtanong, Bakit madilim? Huwag tayong mga tanga, no? Madaling magpakatanga. Yung magpakarunong kailangan ng tiyaga. Kaya ang ating pakinggan ay ang Espiritu Santo na nagsasabi sa ating sama-sama tayo, lahat tayo ay taluntunin ang daan na mahirap Subalit daan patungo sa Diyos, pag-ibig, pagkakaisa, at buhay na walang hanggan. Let's all stand to offer our prayers. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Though the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all believers in Christ may overcome division and become one in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, especially those who are handicapped, may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and His Assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That a faithful departed may be delivered from the evil of eternal death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, send your Spirit upon us that we may open up our hearts to the truth and to the path of love that even though it may have a lot of obstacles and difficulties, we may be able to follow it with enough grace coming from the Holy Spirit Himself, who lives and reigns with you together with the Son forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. For the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offering, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis de Sales, you bid your church rejoice, so through you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of the nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That a common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have a priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. Mere political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, promise of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through the sacrament we have received, we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of St. Francis de Sales and to attain, like him, the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ito sa puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nagsidalot na kiisa sa ating pagdiriwang sa Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy niyo pong ipagdasal ang mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of the Manawag. At kami at kayo'y makakaasa na pagdadasal din namin kayo at ang inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick and then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness, restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mission,
mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and through the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.